today's video is a review on VCE words. A VCE word is a word that has a vowel, then a consonant, and then an E. If we look at this, V, C, E, we have a vowel, which will be A, E, I, O, or U. Then you have a consonant, which is any letter that's not one of these vowels. And finally, it ends with an E. V, C, E. Vowel, consonant, E. An example of a word that follows this is the word that I'm going to write right here. And I'm not going to tell you what it says yet. So I can tell this is a VCE word because I have my vowel, which is my O, got a consonant, N, and my E. So whenever we see words that follow this pattern, you read them a certain way. If this E wasn't here, I would read this word as con, because I k, a, n. But when I have an E in the mix, it changes it up a little bit. What happens is this E, oops, this E is going to tell our vowel to sound a little different. Instead of saying a uh, like it did in con, the E is going to tell the O to basically say its name. It'll be a long vowel, so instead of a, uh, it's going to be O. So when I try to read that, and I'm just going to rewrite it so we can see it better. When I try to read this, instead of a, uh, I'm going to say k own, cone. Now here's another example. That's a really bad D. Now this word, if I were to sound it out, I would get h, i, d, hid. But now I'm going to throw an E on the end. The E is going to tell the I to, instead of saying i, it'll say I. So we have hide. This word, if the E wasn't there, would be m, a, d, mad. But the E tells our vowel to say a, so it's made. So when you're practicing reading your words, or just reading any story in general, be on the lookout for those words that have the silent E on the end. Because we don't actually hear the E, but it's doing something pretty important. It's telling our vowels to make a completely different sound. Without that E there, some of our words wouldn't make any sense at all. <laughs> 